video of the EHS Racing fuel controller. Try to help people out with some of the tech support questions that I field a lot lately. Uh, we got another video floating around on the internet that you know was hooked up to a battery and I was showing you how to scroll through the settings. Um, this is going to be one on the bike. I'm going to go a little more into detail on what the settings actually do, uh, how they adjust the parameters, and while it's running. You know, it's going to be a little hard to hear me while I'm talking while it's running, so I'm going to do some explaining and I'll do some showing while the bike's running. Um, we're on the dyno too, so it's going to be kind of a controlled circumstance where you can hear the RPMs, watch the lights, see what the lights do. Uh, we'll show over on the air to fuel gauge on the dyno which is, let's go there Bryce, okay, on the right side of the screen, that's an air to fuel gauge, if you can see it, if it's clear enough, it says 18.4 now below it, that is your air to fuel ratio, how many parts air is in the gas mixture, 18.4 uh, is basically free air, uh, we're going to be ideally cruising around somewhere around a 13.1 to 13.5 area, you know, that's how our O2 sensor on this dyno is going to prefer, make horsepower, be right, not have high EGTs. Uh, then we're going to have a speed gauge on there, RPM. That's really not important for what we're explaining. <clears throat> you basically want to watch the gauge. You know, it's it'll bounce around. You'll see 12s, you'll see 14s. But for the most part, you want it to be in the sweet area, 13, 13 and a half. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the fuel controllers, there's going to be six sets of modes of adjustment. I can't hit the screen right now, but there's going to be three three modes that are going to handle fuel quantity. There's going to be green, yellow, and red. Those are fuel quantity circuits. Plus sign, minus sign is going to adjust green, yellow, red. Plus sign is going to add fuel. Minus sign is going to take fuel away. You hit the plus sign when the green lights are on, it's going to add fuel in the green circuit. Hit the minus sign when the yellow lights are on, it's going to take fuel away in the yellow circuit. The next three modes after that are going to be green and blue, yellow and blue, red and blue. You know, there'll be a green light over here, a blue light on number eight. Same, yellow and blue, red and blue. Those are going to handle fuel timing. For the most part, for all our kits, you're not going to have to adjust those at all. Um, they have to do with a throttle position, an RPM-based math equation that, you know, how much throttle position at what RPM you're getting. You're getting it to jump from circuit to circuit. 90% of the controllers we do... The green, blue, yellow, blue, red, blue are all handling the low side switching point. The one that you're always going to have to change the most is going to be the green, blue. That's the one that I tell people to switch. You know, if you're sitting there and your bike is got a sporadic idle, it's kind of jumping in between adding fuel, not adding fuel. It's You lower it down, it's always adding fuel. You raise the green, blue up, it's a higher RPM where it's not adding fuel, so it's running on stock pulse width. <clears throat> um, we're probably not going to play with any of those too much. This uh, 2015 Raptor, we got it on. The green-blue is basically always on. Once you start changing the exhaust on this, it needs fuel at idle. I'll raise it up, and I'll show you on the video, and you'll be able to listen to the green-blue. When I raise it up, it'll start idling sporadic. Probably actually almost want to cut off. Um, I'm going to show you the light. Watch the lights while we're going through the RPM. You'll see them go from green, yellow, to red. That's what fuel the fuel that is hooked to the injector that is telling it in that scenario. So over then there we're just cruising at low RPM on a green lights around and you're doing you know butt tuning in in the field and you're watching green lights you know if you hit plus or minus and you're adding fuel taking fuel away while the green lights are on that's the only thing you're affecting so you can know you know if you're out there riding in the yellow it's not you're not you're not testing the changes you're making. And you'll be able to see that and change with the RPM. Uh, you can watch my thumb on the throttle to see what throttle position and kind of listen to the motor. You know, you can, I guess you'll have to hear it. You can't see everything I'm doing on the video. <clears throat> um, other than that, we'll keep recording. We'll explain some more stuff. I'm gonna grab some earmuffs because it's noisy in here. <laughs> okay, you're probably not gonna be able to hear me very much, but we're doing this, but I'll have a uh, I'll turn your volume down and come up here and watch the lights on the controller. Listen to the motor. Uh, Bryce, do some shots between the air to fuel gauge. You know, after we watch the controller, I'll go through a cycle. You know, and you can just mimic it and pretend you're hearing the sound on it, and then watch the dyno and see what's going on. There's a five-second delay.
from the time you start this bike up till the fuel controller actually starts doing its thing, and you'll be able to hear the erratic idle on it when it kicks in. RPMs went up and that half throttle you can see it actually jump where it was when it was in the green mode You know it revved all the way up to probably 6,500 7,000 RPM never jumped into yellow It's based off of your throttle position. So say uh, you put a hot cam in there. Uh, maybe like a stage 3 uh, Hot cam is going to give you, you know, Usually a lot more top end on this. It'll need a good bit more fuel up top more fuel in the bottom and a little more fuel a little more fuel in the bottom mostly in the mid and the top uh, you also need your red to stay on, come on at a higher RPM. So, you know, say red mode on this bike is going to jump on it, half throttle, maybe a 6,500 RPM. <clears throat> when the hot cam comes into play, you want to jump it up to maybe 7,200 RPM, a little higher throttle. So if we were doing that, we want to raise our red blue. 
raising the red blue is going to tell the controller to come on at a higher throttle position and a higher RPM. I'll show you on here in a minute. Say we want to raise the yellow blue up. It's going to make yellow circuit turn on at a higher throttle position, a higher RPM. Um, and that's kind of the effects that you get when you get camshaft profiles that are going to change on there. Uh, here, I'll do that if you can hear me. didn't even jump to red that's because we raised the red too high so we're out there you know you can make all the changes you want in the red mode that red blue was set too high the lights were never turning red the red mode doesn't even turn on so that's what you got to be careful with changing the blues with a camshaft profile you need it to just turn on up there in that upper section of the rpm and throttle but with this setup you know you're you don't have the red to change you're just going to be rich it's going to hang out in the yellow way too long and keep adding too much fuel and then never drop back down into the red mode uh, other things that we can explain Really the green blue mode is one of them that you're always going to have to adjust on a bike by bike basis um, That you want to do just at the idle These are the little red and lead flashy lights when you're getting out of out of the rpm That's common. Um, you know the injector is basically shutting itself off at that point That's just what the stock ECU is doing what it is. It's it's not completely shutting off But it's sending such a low pulse width signal to the injector that there's not enough for our box to pick up and modify so it's actually just sitting there hanging out waiting waiting for signal to actually start doing something again so you know it's still opening your injector but there's not enough pulse width to actually modify it nothing wrong with that um, some bikes like the Razor uh, some of the other ones when you shut the key off <clears throat> the uh, you know there's still going to be energy going to your injector so they may sit there and blink back and forth for a while that's one tech support thing I have to answer all the time the main thing is how to hit the stinking buttons okay some people call me up all the time and say hey I don't have a green mode or hey I don't have a yellow mode if you do more than tap this button it's gonna jump through two or three modes at one time you know if you can hold it down it's gonna jump through six modes it'll go from green to green or green all the way through the cycle and back to yellow which I'll show you tap it gotta be a tiny tiny tap make another video if I got more to say. This one's probably got to be 10 minutes long. So thanks for watching.